she's here. The Weber Smokefire Sear Plus ELX6 Stealth Edition. And I got to give a shout out to my boy, Kurt Fetterman, who owns Pro 415 Hardware here in Dallas, Pennsylvania. Uh, he was awesome through the whole thing. Ordered, had it in within three days. And included in the price was assembly, delivery, and takeaway of the old Pit Boss. Now get a good look at this because this is probably gonna be the cleanest you're ever gonna see this grill. And uh, as you can see, nothing's been done. She was just dropped off. And Everything is still inside, including the hardware, the cleaning tools, the grill connect for the app. So a little bit later today, we're going to get to the 45-minute uh, burn-in to season the inside of this grill. And we're going to get to the uh, Weber Connect app, and we're going to get cooking on this soon. More videos to follow. So we got Saturday, June 17th, and we have the initial burn-in going. Uh, 400 degrees here we're gonna back it down in about another 15 minutes and I'm gonna put it on smoke and we're gonna season the inside of that grill for maybe about another half an hour and then hopefully tonight uh, we're gonna do some pork chops on it so let's see how that goes so with the burn-in now complete I dropped it down to uh, smoke boost mode and I figured I'd season the inside of the grill a little bit more while I have her up and running and a couple of things I noticed first of all there's a lot of smoke escaping from the front of this grill, much more so than during my pit boss days. And I'm just curious as to how that's gonna play out in the wintertime uh, with holding heat in the pit um, when I do grill and smoke in the colder months. Something else that I noticed about this grill is it has a variable speed fan uh, that's controlled by the electronics in this grill. With the Pit Boss, the fan was on and it was just on full blast constantly. But this fan will pick up and it will drop down um, depending on what you need the grill to do. Now, if I raise the temperature, obviously the fan's gonna crank up. When I activated uh, Smoke Boost, uh, the fan started cranking up a little bit as well. But it resumed a very low speed fan setting as you can hear it right now. I just opened up the hopper uh, just to check and see where we're at with wood pellets. And I could tell you that this is a very hungry grill. Uh, this thing chews through the pellets a heck of a lot faster than my pit boss did. So that's telling me that this is a really good smoker. It produces a lot of smoke. I'll tell you what, unless you're up above 400 degrees, this thing just constantly cranks out the smoke. And I just can't wait to put some quality meats inside it. About to start our first cook on the Weber Smokefire Sear Plus here. And uh, just some simple pork chops with some uh, grilled vegetables. But uh, when I get some time in the next day or two, I'm gonna go over um, what I like about the grill so far. Uh, compare it a little bit to the regular Stealth 6 model uh, because there is some differences between the Sear Plus and the regular Stealth. And uh, we'll be back soon. I'd like to give you an introduction to the recently introduced Stealth Sear Plus ELX6 Smoke Fryer Grill by Weber. Now there are some differences between this one and the EPX6 Smoke Fire Stealth. And I'll tell you what those differences are. Um, and starting on the outside, the big differences between this one and the EPX6 Stealth model is that you get this shelf and you also get the grill grate hanger that mounts up underneath the shelf. Now they rated this shelf at holding 40 pounds, but I could tell you watching these guys unload this from the truck yesterday, they held both of these shelves and unloaded it from the tailgate. And I didn't see one tiny little bit of flex off of either side of these shelves. So this girl weighing at a 210 pounds, I could tell you that those shelves are gonna hold more than just 40 pounds without any flex. Another big difference between this one and the regular stealth model is these hanger clips that are on the outside of the grill so that you can hang the double folding upper grill rack that also comes standard on just this stealth model. Now both stealth models feature a nice rubberized handle and black chrome accent straps um, on the front lid of this grill. Very nice looking. <clears throat> the Sear Plus 
comes with a folding upper rack. It gives you twice the amount of space up top. And you can also remove that and hang that on these front clips that are on the front of the grill. Now, both the Stealth models come with this internal LED light, which is gonna really be nice for grilling in the fall and winter up here in the north when it gets dark out early. The Sear Plus also comes with this cast iron double-sided sear plate. Now, it shows it mounted to the right-hand side here, but I also noticed that if you take that center section out and slide that to the far right, you could put that searing plate right over the firebox, and I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see how that works with some subsequent grillings. Last night, we did our first cook on it. We did some bone-in pork chops with some roasted vegetables, and I gotta tell you that this Weber smoke fire really pumps out the smoke. So what are the dimensions of the Sear Plus? Well, you're looking at 210 pounds, a 20 pound hopper for pellets. You're looking at 63.17 inches wide, 47 inches high with the lid closed, 33 inches deep. You have a folding top grate that measures in at 14 by 36 inches of cooking space. You have 1156 total square inches of cooking space on this grill and from what i've seen last night this grill heats up pretty darn evenly all throughout the entire cook surface you have a temperature range of 200 to 600 degrees and this also features a smoke boost function um, as do all the smoke fire grills and i gotta tell you compared to my pit boss this thing is a massive smoker. I don't even know why you would need that smoke boost because with the modulating fan that runs in this grill, this grill continues to pump out the smoke. And I mean, we got some pork chops last night that had some serious smoke infused flavor in it and they really turned out fantastic. The differences between this and the regular EX6. Well, with the EX6, you don't get the light inside. Um, you do not get the black accent strappings on the front of the grill lid. You don't get the rubberized handle and you don't get the black shelving on either side. Another big difference between the two uh, Stealth models and the EPX6 are the casters. And the casters, not only are they blacked out on the Stealth model, but they also seem to be a little more robust. They look a little bit more industrial um, in terms of how long they're going to wear um, instead of the regular EX6 casters. <clears throat> now, some initial thoughts. Comparing this to anything and everything I know about pellet grills by only owning a Pit Boss Pro Series 1100 for four years. You do not have direct flame broiling and, and searing like you do on the Pit Boss. However, this gets plenty hot, plenty fast. This reached 500 degrees within 10 minutes. It heated up very quickly and the heat was evenly distributed. And that searing pan that comes with it, the cast iron searing grate that comes with it, heated up very fast and very evenly. As soon as I dropped it down to say 225 to 250 to slow roll it, the smoke just started pumping in. So right now I'm really impressed uh, with this grill. Some things right off the bat that I know I'm gonna miss is the lower shelf. I'm gonna miss that lower shelf on my Pit Boss. <clears throat> and uh, I think right now that's about it. There aren't a lot of videos out on this model grill. And you might be asking yourself, is this the right pellet smoker pit grill for me? Well, I could tell you that I did a lot of research before I decided to shell out the coin for this pit. And I suggest that you do too, because there are a lot of choices out there right now. And maybe you'll land on something that better suits your cooking needs. If you've never owned a pellet smoker, a pellet grill, a pellet pit, this is a wonderful beginning. I, it's too soon uh, for me to say whether or not I'm gonna miss uh, more things on the Pit Boss that I only know for cooking for four years. But I gotta tell you that right now, I'm really impressed with this Weber smoke fire. And right now, this seems that it is gonna meet more of my needs, my cooking needs, my smoking needs, my pit needs, my grilling needs, my searing needs, than my pit boss was able to do based on some of the 
size of the cooking areas that I went over previously inside the Pit Boss Grill. So do your research. I'm sure more videos on this will be popping up. People will have different opinions. People will have different approaches. And if there are any questions, um, you can ask me and I'll try and answer them down in the comments section. Good luck with your pit adventures.